Hello everyone. My name is Noah James Gonzalez. Friends and families call me Nonong Gonzalez. A name given to me by my grandpa which I like and a name which established my identity. I invite you together with my mom Angelia, Grandma Nancy, Tita Gian, and my grandpa Jimmy to come travel with me as I journey around the world to see the beautiful places its people and culture, and taste its native delicacies. This is the entrance to the Zion National Park and we have to pay $35 entrance fee. The east entrance. East entrance. This is the east entrance. And $35 per car. Officially, we are now entering the Zion National Monument. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Why? You want some? Not the onion seaweed. I know. Uh, Maybe the only one. Maybe two. Only one. No bargaining. What? Don't bargain. Oh. This is all I can give you. <laughs> okay, now <coughs> they say the camp campgrounds are full. And entrance fee, private vehicle, thirty-five dollars. Motorcycle is thirty. And here we are. Hello. Hello. Thirty-five. Seven days. They don't have change at this time. It's okay. I have thirty-five. Okay. Oh, here you go. Thirty. One, two, three, four. Is that a Paris train? Um, is that uh, stroller accessible? It is. Yes. Okay, perfect. Wow. Yep, the, visitor center, the visitor center is 12 miles ahead. The visitor center is 12 miles ahead. Okay. Yep. Sorry, guys. Restroom is 12 miles ahead. Oh, uh, there's a restroom on your bus. Oh, there is one.
Okay. This pay checkerboard mesa. This famous formation was originally named Checkerboard Mountain by Preston P. Patro, the third superintendent of Zion, standing at 6,670 feet. It was named for its checkerboard appearance caused by the horizontal cross beading of ancient sand dunes and vertical cracking due to expansion and contraction of the sandstone during winter. The desert bighorn are perfectly adapted to survive severe desert climate. Their bodies are smaller, legs longer, and coats shorter than their cousin, the mountain bighorn. In Zion National Park, you are most likely to see bighorn between the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel and the east entrance. These skilled climbers choose steep, rocky terrain to allow them to escape from predators like mountain lions. because we can take your stroller. We're gonna put food in your stroller and water. Marshmallows. Marshmallows? You're just, that's for um, camping, Anna.
Sayo National Park is an American national park located in southwestern Utah near the town of Springdale. A prominent feature of the 229 square mile park is Sayon Canyon, which is 15 miles long and up to 2,640 feet deep. The canyon walls are reddish and tan colored Navajo sandstone eroded by the North Fork of the Virgin River. The lowest point in the park is 3,666 at called Pitch Wash, and the highest peak is 8,726 feet at Home Ranch Mountain, located at the junction of the Colorado Plateau, Great Basin, and Mojave Desert regions. The park has a unique geography and a variety of life zones that allow for unusual plant and animal diversity. Numerous plant species as well as 289 species of birds, 75 mammals, including 19 species of bat, and 32 reptiles inhabit the park's four life zones, the desert, riffarian, woodland, and coniferous forest. Sayo National Park includes mountains, canyons, buttes, mesas, monoliths, rivers, slot canyons, and natural arches. Human habitation of the area started about 8,000 years ago with a small family groups of Native Americans, one of which was the semi-nomadic basket maker Anasasi. Subsequently, the Virgin Anasasi culture and the Paruan Premont group developed as the basket makers settled in permanent communities. Both groups moved away by 1300 and were replaced by the Parosits and several other southern Paloti sub-tribes. Mormons came into the area in 1858 and settled there in the early 1860s. In, in, in 1909, President William Howard Tapp named the area Mokontuwip National Monument in order to protect the canyon. In 1918, the acting director of the newly created National Park Services, Horace Albright, drafted a proposal to enlarge the existing monument and change the name's park's name to Sayon National Monument. Sion being a term used by the Mormons, according to historians Hal Rotman, the name change played to a prevalent bias of the time. Many believe that Spanish and Indian names would deter visitors who, if they could not pronounce the name of a place, might not bother to visit it. The name Sion had greater appeal to an ethnocentric audience. On November 19, 1919, Congress redesignated the monument as Sion National Park, and the act was signed by President Woodrow Wilson. The call of section was proclaimed a separate Sion monument in 1937, but was incorporated into the National Park in 1956.
The geology of the Zion and Kolob Canyons area includes nine formations that together represent 150 million years of mostly Mesozoic age sedimentation. At various periods in the time, warm, shallow seas, streams, ponds and lakes, vast deserts, and dry near shore environments cover the area. Uplift associated with the creation of the Colorado Plateau lifted the region 10,000 feet starting at 13 million years ago. Turn on light, remove sunglasses, no stopping. Now we are. You, you don't have. You don't have headlight. We are under the tunnel, under the mountain, the tunnel. Wow, it's a long tunnel, huh? It's very long. Under the, this is under the mountain. Uh-oh. 
Oh, oh, that's beautiful. But I was not able to make it. Oh, there you go. Now yeah. I can see the light. Yeah. At the end of the tunnel. What? Yes, that's You're why you were right, causing okay. the traffic. Yeah, you notice there was no. Okay, there, so, uh, so there was no. Oh, we have to do this early. Yeah, they they only allow one lane at a time. Twenty minutes, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. I can do that. Uh, yeah. It's worth the thirty-five dollars, huh? Look at that. Yeah, that's one week past. Yep. Oh, we should be early here. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at them. And this was the last. Oh, there's another car. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's
park is located in southwestern Utah, in Washington, Iron, and Kane counties. Geomorphologically, it is located in the Markagont Mar and Kolob Plateaus at the intersection of three North American geographic provinces, the Colorado Plateau, the Great Basin, and the Mojave Desert. The northern part of the park is known as the Kolob Canyons section and is accessible from Interstate 15, except 40. The 8,726-foot summit of Horse Ranch Mountain is the highest point in the park. The lowest point is the 3,666-foot elevation of Gold Beach Wash, creating a relief of about 5,100 feet. Streams in the area take rectangular paths because they follow jointing planes and the rocks. The stream gradient of the Virgin River, Post North Fork, flows through Sayon Canyon, and the park ranges from 50 to 80 feet per mile, one of the steepest streams gradient in North America. The road into Sayon Canyon is six miles long ending at the temple of Sinawawa, which is named for the coyote god of the Paiyoti Indians. The canyon becomes more narrow near the temple, and a hiking trail continues to the Mount of the Narrows, a gorge only 20 feet wide and up to 2,000 feet tall. The Zion Canyon Road is served by a free shuttle bus from April to late October and by private vehicles the other months of the year. Other roads in Zion are open to private vehicles year-round. The east side of the park is served by Zion Mount Carmel Highway, which passes through the Zion Mount Carmel Tunnel and ends at Mount Carmel on the east side of the park. Notable park features include checkerboard mesa, and the S Temple. The Colob Terrace area, northwest of Zion Canyon, features a slot canyon called the Subway and a panoramic view of the entire area from Lava Point. The Colob Canyon section farther to the northwest near Cedar City features Tokope Point and one of the world's longest natural arches, the Colob Arch. Other notable geographic features of Zion Canyon includes Angel's Landing, the Great White Throne, the Court of the Patriarchs, the Sentinel, the West Temple, Towers of the Virgin, the Altar of Sacrifice, the Watchman, Weeping Rock, and the Emerald Poles.
As I post here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode and please hit the red subscribe button below for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much.